Welcome back to another video. Today we're not in a traditional park, we're in an office park because we're flying some FPV around these crazy buildings and having some fun here on New Year's Eve. Yes, I kind of revealed what day it is. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different and I'm gonna tell you why you should not buy what's in this case. If you've never been around drones before, you may see the $50 drones or $25 drones on eBay, on Amazon, on Tenmu, on Banggood, AliExpress, wherever. And I'm gonna tell you right now why save your $50 and yes, the next step up is between $300 and $500, but what you get and the experience you get from those drones is truly worth it. So for the first time ever, I'm really not gonna review a product that I like. These are basically the two drones right here. This obviously is the Tenmu drone. This is a DJI Mini 2. I've reviewed this drone before on the channel, so you know that I really, really like this drone. But this drone costs basically 10 times as much. This comes in at $500 all up, this comes on at just $50 all up. While that price difference is massive in the grand scheme of things, percentage-wise, there really is a monstrous difference between the two. And really, this is just manufactured e-waste, and you should never buy it. Let's just get it out, out of the way up front. So now, let's actually compare the two. So four or $500, why is this so much better? They both fold, they're both pretty small, they're both under 250 grams. They allegedly fly for 23 minutes. Uh, we're gonna get into that in a second. There are some similarities between these two, but as soon as you physically touch them, that's where those similarities stop. So let's unfold both of these and let's get into it. First and foremost with the Mini, you do have to unfold the upper legs first and then the lower legs, and you see it right here. And you'll see that these propellers look pretty similar to the ones on here, but when you actually look at them, these are flimsy, flimsy plastic. These are actually really, really nice plastic. They've got some give to it like a propeller should, but they really don't have any kind of like, they don't feel like a lunch tray, I guess would be a good way to put it. So let's unfold this one just because we can. Here, you don't have to fold the bottom ones first. They just fold straight out in any order. Oh, no, you do have to fold them. I was wrong. You have to fold the top ones out just like the uh, mini. So as you can see, get rid of remote ID, yeah. Yes, there's graffiti on this one. So unfolded, this one's actually bigger. So you'd think that this one could fly faster, this one could do anything better than this drone. But as soon as you start to do stuff like, in this case, take off the gimbal protector, which that's kind of a dead giveaway, here you can see it has a very, very nice up to 4K camera here you have this little chintzy camera where you can manually push the gimbal around. There's no stabilization here. And on top of that, this tops out at 1080p, kinda. Here, you've got an SD card in the back, you've got a big battery in the back, same as this, here, got a battery in the back. There's no onboard recording. The only way you can record video on this is if you pull out a smartphone, install their weird app on it, which I don't 100% trust to be honest, and you record video that is wirelessly transmitted from the drone to your phone via Wi-Fi. Yeah, not the greatest experience ever. And on top of that, the transmission range is low. So not only are you getting video that looks worse than say FPV DVR, honestly, I would even take analog FPV DVR over the video coming out of this. I'm putting B-roll over this so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about but the transmission range is short. Let me walk that way, and I'm gonna show you exactly how far the transmission range is. Here, this is how far you can Yes, that's it. 50 meters or 150 feet is as far as you can get video transmission for this drone. In addition, you'll see kind of some lies on the Amazon page. You'll see a pretty high wind resistance, but in my experience, even a light breeze will push this around. It says it has returned to home, but what it's doing is trying to mimic using a compass flying perpendicular back to you. Does this work? I'm gonna give it a test. I don't honestly trust it enough to do this next to my vehicle, but it doesn't have GPS like this guy does. This, if you lose signal, it returns to home. If you fly too far and you lose video, it'll return to home. If you press a button, it'll return to home. And what is it, what is it advertising? Is it HD, right? Oh, I have to turn this on. Yeah. Yes, advertises HD, I call bullshit. 
Okay, now the remote is on. So one button take off. That's kind of unsettling. So because it has no GPS, like it, it doesn't sit still. So that whole thing I do with like people when I'm showing them the drone and I go on there and push it around. Yeah. It stays where you where yeah. push it. Yeah, this does not. Yeah. It wants to come back a little bit, but, or, or is it just uh, leveling it out? I think it's just leveling out. Yeah. So yeah. I, unlike the Mini, where it will go back to its position because it has the optical time of flight sensors. I'd rather trust the uh, beta flight. Where is it going? I'd rather <laughs> trust beta flight uh, GPS than this. Wow. Oh god, I'm already losing video. <laughs> oh yeah, I've already lost video. Uh, I don't even know what it's doing. I have no control over this. Oh, it's gonna crash. Oh shit. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay. So I tried to do a first proper flight. I flew up right over there, over that street, and it lost both video, as you'll see in the clip that I've posted in the B-roll, and then it lost all control, and then it crashed right here. I mean, I guess it's durable. It didn't completely break in half, but this is why I don't spend money on this. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can actually make this thing flip. Can't believe it lost. I expected it to lose it like quickly, but not like that. It lost like why? It lost like the wireless connection. Like Wi-Fi should go farther than what? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, maybe 30 well, feet. Honestly, you know what? It's better that it crashed into the tree because if you had it up any higher, I think it would have probably just kept fucking going. You would have to chase it around with it until you got reception. Oh, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> I would have... I'm not going to say I would have loved that. So it... That... I think I found the upper limit. I think the upper limit for its flight was like all of maybe 45 feet. Okay, so we're going to try this once again and we're going to try to use the auto flip feature to see if we can do an FPV trick. Will it work? I'm not confident. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I'm gonna try to trim. All right, so to make it to make it hold position, I have to trim it out. Okay, you're supposed to be able to just press. Oh, there it goes. I mean, I guess it's a thing. It does a thing. Okay, let's try return to home. If you're looking to fly in any kind of wind, it's not windy right now, and this is struggling to move forward. It's maybe a one mile an hour wind, and you can see, actually maybe you can't, it's slowly going backwards. Okay, so we're gonna try return to home. I have no confidence in it. This is as fast as it can go. I'm not getting any video anymore from it, so. Okay. This is just doing some weird things. Okay, I'm gonna rotate you. Okay, so it's right there over the road and this is actually where I lost video for it. Uh, I still don't have video for it. So we're gonna press return to home. I think it just auto landed. It did not do anything. And just for reference, I pushed this button, not this button for auto land. It's on the road. And it no longer like... There's so much latency between this controller. Okay, so yeah, I have like no I have no control over it anymore. We're gonna do a quick durability test on this. 
What happens if you fly into a concrete wall? That. Best way to land it. It's like there's no control. To be honest, I would be more nervous if I saw one of these flying over me that than a mini. FPV. Yeah, than anything so. else. Because like at least if somebody's flying an FPV drone, there's no way that they don't have some kind of skill at the sticks. <laughs> that drone, even if you're a skilled pilot, like I've been flying drones for like years and I had nothing. Okay, so now we've got the DJI Mini up and obviously this footage is going to be gorgeous. Let me just show you why this drone is such a better value than that cheap $50 drone, even though it's 10 times the price. And it comes down to its GPS and smart functionality. So I'm gonna have it auto take off behind me. And yes, I feel very confident in this drone. So there it is, it's just hovering, staying right there. You can see it's moving a little bit because of the wind. But one of my favorite things to do with a new drone and a pilot who's never seen a drone before is show them that the DJI drones really wanna stay in one place. So I'm gonna give it a push and it's gonna stay pretty much right there. And so see, you can even resist me pushing against it. It'll basically hover there for its full entire flight time. It's not gonna get blown around like that other little cheap drone. And then the biggest thing is the app has a physical connection. I'm not connected via Wi-Fi. This is connected via a dedicated radio link for both control and for video. So I'm confident I'm not gonna fly 50 feet that way, lose connection, and then crash this little drone. And honestly, I'm not as worried about crashing that drone, because again, it's only 50 bucks. I'm more, it, uh, I'm more concerned about the fact that I could hurt people. This drone, I'm confident that I could fly near people, over people, whatever. I know how it's gonna behave, I know how it's gonna control, and I know how it feels. And that's something I cannot say for any of those cheap drones. So if you have the impulse to go buy a cheap drone, honestly, save your money, you're gonna have a better experience, you're gonna get better footage, it's gonna do what you want it to do. It doesn't have to be a DJI drone. There are plenty of other nice drone manufacturers out there. You've got Parrot, you've got Hubson, you have Autel, you have a bunch of other options. This is just one of them. And for a cheap drone, I do not think you can do better than that DJI Mini. So let's go and cruise around and I'm gonna show you on the video why this is such a better option. Okay. doing a little sweet pan. And currently we're shooting in 4K 30. That's flight distance reached. Oh, so here's the one downside for DJI, is if you don't have an account and you're not logged in, they can limit what you can and can't do. Uh, so I have da, 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 next. I've read the information, next. Type in my password. Part of this is because of the DJI regulations. Uh, they really are regulated. Now we are in full and normal mode. Uh, more than most other manufacturers. So they really do have to uh, go above and beyond when it comes to adhering to regulations because the government will jump down their throats. Down here is where the cheap drone lost its signal. And so here's the biggest thing. So if I was to lose signal even farther away, or I just want it to come home, if I press this button right here, and be patient, it's gonna fly itself home. So while this does that, and you're gonna see it from the view of the drone, um, 
I really think that the cheaper drones are basically just manufactured e-waste. They're not worth your time. They're not worth your money. Uh, they really don't provide any kind of good experience with flying a drone. They're going to crash easier. They're going to be just a bad time. So don't spend your money, save your 50 bucks, put it towards a nicer drone. Go on to eBay, find a Mavic Mini uh, or a DJI Mini 2 or a DJI Mini 3 if you're gonna splash the money out. Pick a drone that's going to perform better. Don't buy something that's just a drone because you can. If you do want something, say, like headless that you can kind of fly line of sight inside the house, there are so much better options from Hubson, from Parrot, from Happy Model. All of those are gonna provide you a better experience. And so now the drone is basically right over top of us. It's gonna come down and probably land right behind me. It's very close. Landing. So. Because I'm fairly experienced flying drones, I really don't ever use the auto land function. So this is causing me a bunch of anxiety, but as you can see, it's basically found us. It's coming down right on top of me right now. Uh, hopefully it lands perfectly and doesn't land on my car, but we're gonna see. Oh, this is causing me so much anxiety. This right here is why you want a nicer drone. So right now it's back. I have control link, I have picture. So now I could take back over and land however I want. That's basically some of the options you get when having a nicer drone. Yeah. Don't spend your money on cheap drones. They are cheap for a reason. They don't have GPS. They don't have transmit range. They don't have control link range. It's going to cause you issues. You're gonna have a bad time. Because if you're gonna go to places where you want drone footage, you want good drone footage. Uh, the video is gonna be better. It's gonna be more stable. It's gonna handle wind better. It's gonna handle everything. There is not a single thing aside from being cheap does that drone do better? And honestly, if you find a used DJI Mini or DJI Mini 2, you can probably get down to where it's only two or three times the cost. And then that single advantage of that uh, very cheap, inexpensive drone from Tenmu, it's gone. So with that said, thank you all for joining me today. That Tenmu drone is gonna be back and it's gonna be back with FPV drones and we're going to kill it completely kill it. I'm just not going to do it here because I don't want to crash into pavement. So with that said, thank you for joining me today. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, subscribe, like the video, and down below, if you want to pick up a Mini 2 or a Mini 3, I do have a link down below. They're drones that I use. I would only recommend things that I personally use, and they are affiliate links, so they do give a kickback to this channel. Helps me do things, helps me review stuff, helps do all sorts of other stuff. So thank you all for joining me. Catch you in the next one. Bye.